Hello everybody and happy Halloween! Today Jay and I are carving pumpkins. I love carving pumpkins. I feel like it's very Halloween-esque and there's something so wonderful about taking an innocent pumpkin and stabbing it repeatedly and leaving it outside to rot. It's something that the serial killer in me thoroughly enjoys. Last year my friend Kyle carved a pumpkin and he gave me some pumpkin seeds that he harvested from that pumpkin. And it got me thinking, how much delicious potential has been wasted on my pumpkins of Halloween past? Well, this year I am determined to make sure that my pumpkin does not die in vain. It will still die, just not in vain. This evening I have nothing but time, so let's go get a couple pumpkins and see what we're able to utilize. Mine's gonna be pretty easy, or well, it looks easy, but I don't know how easy it's actually going to be. What did you pick out? I'm going to be doing Toothless <gasps> with How to Train Your Dragon. I love Toothless. Oh, shoot. I should have done the Light Fury. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing his face. And it looks like it's it's a couple cuts besides the eyes. But I feel like it may be more difficult than that. So we'll see what happens. So this is what mine should look like. But I am aware it's very ambitious and may not turn out. You look like you're going to rob the place. <laughs> It is raining today, so we can't go to a pumpkin patch, but we got some high V pumpkins here and they'll be just as good. Did you find one? I feel like this one will be a good size for my stencil. Yeah, I want this one. Buying pumpkin things and keeping spirits spooky. Ooh, look, Shiner has an Oktoberfest. Yeah, I hear it's good. Okay, I like Shiner Cheer, so let's get this one. Do you want anything else? Okay. I thought you said you weren't getting anything. What is that? Pretzel Fest beer. Ooh. All right. I have pumpkin guts on my glasses. Okay, so something I didn't see coming, which I probably 100% should have seen coming, is that that took about four hours. So our night is pretty much over. What that means is I'm gonna spend the remainder of the night taking this and separating the pumpkin seed from the guts and looking up a bunch of recipes on Pinterest. So I'll let you know how they go tomorrow. No, no. Quasi. Hey you guys, I have to apologize to you ahead of time. It has been two days. This no waste pumpkin thing is not easy at all. Man, this was a process. As you know, I carved my pumpkin with Jay. So we actually had two no waste pumpkins to take care of. This made for a huge amount of pumpkin guts and pumpkin seeds. With these two pumpkins, I was able to make three cups of toasted pumpkin seeds in three different flavors. I made two batches of pumpkin butter, 24 pumpkin muffins, and a pumpkin pie. And the crazy thing is, I still have some left over. With that being said, I am about to use my last cup of pumpkin puree on a very interesting recipe. Pumpkin mac and cheese. It sounds pretty weird, I'm willing to give it a shot, and Jay said he'd eat it with me, so let's give it a try. This recipe seems really big. It calls for an entire box of noodles. I'm using farfalle noodles, aka bowtie noodles, because they're my favorite. Is that a sign that I'm getting old, that I have a favorite type of pasta now? Or is it a sign that I'm young because I prefer bowtie noodles? These are the questions that plague my mind. Okay, 
It looks like we're boiling. Okay. Those noodles boil until they're just under al dente. Um, and in the meantime, I will shred my cheese. I am using aged cheddar and Three years. Three years. Good. Mm. All right, our noodles are done. I'm going to drain them and then we'll keep going. Pumpkin is in. It's the last of my pumpkin. I'm so excited we did it. This no waste pumpkin thing is not easy at all. You have to really want to do it. I would suggest that if you want an easy way to do a no waste pumpkin, bury it all in the backyard, bury it in the garden. Most recipes that call for fresh pumpkin puree have you use pie pumpkins or sugar pumpkins. They're called sugar pumpkins because their flesh is a little bit sweeter. So the way that I combated this was when I was baking, I sprinkled a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, and then when I actually went to mix all the ingredients together for baking, I added an extra fourth a cup of brown sugar to make it sweeter. If you're looking for some easy recipes so that you don't have to bake the pumpkin puree first, I would go for making dog treats or pumpkin face masks, or again, just bury it in your garden. Raw pumpkin has a ton of vitamins that your plants will just soak up the next time you go to plant in the spring. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on doing a no waste pumpkin this year. As always, like, subscribe, and hit that little bell so you can be notified of new videos. Now, let's go make Jay eat that pumpkin mac and cheese. What? Thank you. I'm actually kind of nervous. I feel like it just tastes like mac and cheese. I like it. Pumpkin mac and cheese.